Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Kaylee and I am a fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, content crea creator over on Instagram and I will put my at handle here and I would love for you to follow me. But today I wanted to do a little get ready with me, show my current makeup products that I've been using for a few weeks now and I am loving, I'm loving the makeup look. I just feel so, Honestly, I just feel so pretty when I wear this. I feel like bronzy and glowy and just like, I honestly feel like spring vibes from this makeup look, even though like it's, you could wear it, you know, whatever time of the year. Um, I will have everything linked in the like to know it app and in the description below. Please like, please subscribe, but please comment down below, follow me on Instagram, do all of the things. I have, if you do follow me on Instagram, I had posted, um, like a story picture of, of the selfie of me. I posted on my story a few times. It's under my makeup highlight and I was obsessed with the look. So I recreated it doing like using the exact same products and I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, you guys, let's get started on my everyday glowy, bronzy, beautiful, stunning makeup look that I am obsessed with. So I've already done my skincare, but I'm going to start with this Ella Luz. This is the beauty oil. Let's see if this will focus. Um, I do a few dots of this just on my hand. And then I take my finger and I rub it under my eyes. This just gives me a lot of hydration and really I have found that my concealer just looks 20 times better whenever I use this stuff. So I just put it under my eyes. If you have super dry skin, you can use it really all over your face. Um, but I always prep my skin with the Tatcha Dewy Cream. So I learned this trick from Makeup XKA on Instagram. And then I'll kind of just put the rest everywhere else. Um, I don't ever put makeup on directly, like right after, like I will do, I'll show you on my next step, but if you are doing this, let it sit for about like a minute or two before you go in with like concealer or any type of makeup products. Um, next, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've honestly seen any of my videos before, this combo right here, the... Super Goop Glow Screen and the D Bronzy Drops from Junk Elephant. This combo will change your life. I wear this every single day. If I'm wearing makeup, if I'm not wearing makeup, I wear this every single day. So I always start with the Super Goop. I put about this much on, that much. And then I just do a little pump of the D Bronzy like that and mix it together and hopefully you can see the glow it gives it is just so so stunning and you're getting spf coverage also a little bit of like bronziness and just a glow so you start your day off just you know looking good make sure to take it down your neck because there is a little bit of a difference, at least for me. And today I'm going to be using the Morphe brushes, the Makeup by Ariel collection. I love them. They are stunning. Katie Fawn, if y'all don't follow her, she is my fave person to watch, but she uses these all the time. And yes, it's in a coffee cup. But that's all I had. Um, so I'm going to be using these today. I normally don't use, well, I've actually never bought like a brush set until this. I've always just had like random ones here and there. And so I'm super excited. I've been using them for the past week or so. I think I got them in the mail a week ago, like exactly a week ago. So I've been using them since then. And let's start off. My hair looks kind of crazy. We're going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm in the shade for medium and I'm going to put these or this on the high points of my face. And I'm going to take the Makeup by Ariel collection and the A24 brush and just blend that out. I 
these brushes are very good quality and I think they're like a hundred dollars. I got them on the Morphe website because I think if you signed up for emails, you got like 20% off. So it ended up being like $80, I think. And the shipping was so quick. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I will have all of these products linked in the like to know it app and then the description below. So I just make sure all of that is blended in. And then I go in with quite literally my favorite thing ever. It is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. So this also has SPF in it. I'm in the shade ST6 Aura and I have used it for a while now. And when I first started using it, I was like, okay, this stuff is good, but no, this stuff is great. I wear it almost every day. If I'm wearing foundation, this is pretty much what I'm going to wear. I put a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit everywhere else is where I'm going to have that coverage. And then it says on here, like on the bottle to go in with your fingers. And when I first started using this, I was like, ew, no. But recently I've been doing it with my fingers and I feel like it just gives you more coverage. Like, I don't know if you could see, like I had a lot of red spots on my chin and it really just covered it. So I love it. You do get a lot of coverage in this and it feels so good on your skin. So I'll just like rub most of it in and then wipe my hand off. And then I'll take that same brush that I use to blend in that Charlotte Tilbury Falls filter. And I will go in and just make sure it's all blended everywhere. But it really just is such a beautiful skin tint and it does give you coverage, does have the SPF in it, which, you know, just makes everything 10 times better. Like look at that glow. I feel like my skin just looks so healthy whenever I wear this. And it's literally what I've been wearing every day. Now, once that is blended in, I will just go in with the back of my Dampen Beauty sponge and kind of just go over everything, make sure it's all in the right place and that I'm ready to go with everything else. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber, and then I'm gonna take the A58 brush, and this has made the biggest difference, I feel like, in my makeup routine. So I just take this brush and just tap it in there. This stuff is very pigmented, and it's very blendable, which I love. So that was just one little tap. And I will just go on, like, my cheekbones, and almost, I haven't been contouring since I've been using this, so I'll sometimes use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one. Like, I still love it, don't get me wrong. But just for everyday wear, I have been absolutely just loving how fresh and bronzy this stuff looks. Like I said, I'm in the shade Amber. This was a Katie Fawn recommendation. It's super blendable. You could even do it with a beauty blender, but because I have these brushes, I've been just using this. I really didn't even know they had cream bronzer until I saw Katie's video. But I'll just keep layering on there until I feel like I've got the look I am going for. Just that bronzy, sun-kissed look. And now I'm gonna go in with my favorite. It is the Charlotte Tilbury, the blush one. This is in the shade Peach Gasm. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I posted the other day that the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm wand was back in stock and you best believe I ordered it. And a lot of you ordered it too. I was so surprised. I'm so thankful that a lot of you ordered it. Um, this is a peach gasm. I love it, but I've heard if you like the pink peach gasm, you're gonna like the pink gasm even more. And I'm kind of running low on this. So I was like, you know what? I'll just pick it up. And I put this everywhere, as you can see. This literally gives you like glass skin. Like your skin just looks like glass. Like I could stop after I blend this in and just go about my day and my skin would look so good. This is just, this is not a brush from that um, Morphe collection, but I am just blending it in. It's some type of blending brush. I'm not really sure, but 
it just gives you like the glowiest, glassiest skin. I don't even know if glassiest, that's definitely not a word, but I don't know. I just love it. And so my, the pink gasm one, that one comes in the mail on Wednesday. So, so excited to try that. Follow me on Instagram. I'll give you some updates. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer I think I've ever used. It is the Ilia Super Serum, no, True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade SC1. This stuff, you guys, I, concealer hasn't always been like a problem, I would say, of mine, but I've never found one that like makes my eyes like not cakey and not have a lot of lines under them. And um, this one does just that gives me coverage and also is super hydrating so I don't feel like you know I'm like it's all cakey and my eye my under eyes really lately since literally yesterday but they have been so dark and red and I'm not really sure what's going on but do y'all ever have those little like invisible hairs that you can just feel always going with the spoolie until I can get it anyways after um, I put my concealer on, I'll go in with a dampened beauty sponge. These are, I've been using this throughout the video so far, but these are the Beaky, I think they're like five for eight or five for 10 um, beauty sponges from Amazon. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront and on the Light to Know It app. They are my favorite beauty blenders. I will never, ever, ever spend $20 on another beauty blender again for a single one. And these last forever. Like, I don't know if you could tell. I'm sure if you watched the beginning of this video or you can even rewind now, I did have a big problem spot. It was like red. I tried to pop it and it bruised. But anyways, it is like completely covered. All I did was the skin tint and then that serum, both by Ilya. Ilya, if you're watching this, I love you and your products. <clears throat> Sorry. But when I use this, I just feel like my under eyes just look so hydrated and just like hydrated is the only word that comes to mind. Like they just look so juicy. But y'all do y'all see what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see in the video. I was with my friend yesterday and she says she couldn't tell, but I know she could. It's like red right under my eyes and I don't know what it's from. Yeah, I can still see it, but whatever. We're just going to go with it. And now I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Cupcake. Ooh, there was hair on that. The Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Cupcake. And then I'm going to take this, the A14 brush and set my under eyes. So I don't like bake or anything and right before I set them I always go back in with my beauty sponge just to make sure there are no creases but I don't set my under eyes necessarily well I guess I set them I don't bake but I just get a little bit on this brush and just kind of go in and press it just that way it stays And this is like the perfect brush for that. Like you can just barely put any setting powder on and you're kind of just dusting it. That's what I want to say. It's a light dust. And I know you're probably like, well, I mean, girl, your face is still very um, shiny, um, but we will get to that in a second. So this is really all I do for my under eye setting. And I always bring it like down like this side of my nose. What do we think? We're like halfway through. I would say halfway through, yeah. Okay, now for my favorite part, I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic blush in the shade Ecstasy, another Katie Fawn recommendation, but it is absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna take this A3.2 brush and 
you know, dab it around in there and then just go to town. I live for blush. If that was the only makeup product I could use for the rest of my life, um, I would be happy. If I got to choose a makeup product to use for the rest of my life, just one, it'd be blush. So I just put that literally everywhere. I just am a blush girl. And uh, like, I just feel like it looks so stunning on the skin. Now, if you don't like this much blush, that is okay. You don't have to put this much blush, but this blush is literally amazing. You know, it probably looks like I have too much on, but that is okay. That is okay. Now I'm going to do some eyeshadow. First, I start with the Dibs Beauty Wand, and I use the bronzer shade, which is Mood Boost, and it looks like this. I love these sticks, but I really like doing this. I take the A11 brush, and I just kind of like move it around on the top to pick up some product, and then that is my base for my eyeshadow. So I just feel like it gives you like a nice base, and it's like bronzy, so it ties all of you know, the look together. And if you're not like good at eyeshadow like me, like I just do the most basic things, um, I, you could literally just stop here. Like that's how good. And I do like to bring it into like my nose and almost like draw in a little nose contour, but without actually contouring the nose. But just putting that on my eyes, I feel like adds so much or make so much of a difference so you could really use this with any bronzer i just um like that one i'm gonna take this makeup by mario palette and use this shade right here this top shade um matte four all of his like all of all of the eyeshadows are just matte one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is matte four and I'm just taking a random Morphe brush. This is not with the Ariel collection. And just kind of covering um, that cream bronzer. Or not covering, just adding it on top of that cream bronzer. Just to set it in a way, I guess. And then the A20 brush. And I'm going to take matte 2 and matte 3. And mix them together and kind of just layer them over like the lid of my eye, my eyelid. I'm a really big fan of this eyeshadow palette. I feel like it's so easy to use and that this, you could just use this eyeshadow palette for the rest of your life because the colors are just so many. I'm gonna take this A18 brush and tap it into the matte two and kind of follow along my under eye, which it's really not much, but I feel like it just kind of ties the look in together. Okay, hold please. Okay, I'm gonna take this, some type of, I don't know, some type of brush like this to do a little eyeshadow wing and I'm gonna look into this mirror and just kind of draw a line. And this does not have to be perfect. At least I don't think it has to be perfect. Because it's eyeshadow. And if you don't like it, then just blend it out. So we got a little wing going on there. And you always want to look at the mirror. You don't want to close your eyes. Because people are going to be looking at the wing whenever your eyes are open. Like they're not going to just see your wing whenever you close your eyes and you blink. So... And honestly, none of my wings are ever the same, so let's not judge. Like, they're definitely different, but like, are we going to go with it? Yeah, we are. 
Now I'm gonna take this brush. No, this is not a brush. This is like a puff from Amazon. So it's like one of those beauty puffs. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Walmart, Target, H-E-B. But I got a six pack off Amazon for like $12. And I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I just have the mini version. Well, I have the big version, but I'm out of it. So I'm just using this mini one. And I'm gonna take it and this is what I am going to set my face with. So I'm going to put it in the powder as you see, and then take it under my eyes. This just gives like a super flawless finish, I feel like. And I don't know what it is about a beauty puff. I just saw someone on TikTok. I wish I knew who it was. And I immediately ran to Amazon and ordered them and I was like, she just made it seem like it makes your like everything on your under eyes like look just so much more flawless and I think I agree. Now we're going to take this random brush that I got in a Ipsy bag six years ago and some butter bronzer and we're going to kind of just run this over the top of that cream bronzer almost to like set it in a way but also just to like bring back some color. Although, like, my cheeks are, like, bright pink, so we don't have to bring back too much color. If you can't tell, I have a bruise on my chin from, like I said. That's where you're not supposed to pop your pimples, friend. Well, I am the worst person because I will say, I'm like, oh, my God, don't touch your face. Don't pop your pimples. And then every night, I am picking at my face, popping my pimples, scratching them popping them with my knuckles because like my fingertips aren't strong enough and it leaves bruises and scrap or and scabs so 10 out of 10 don't recommend but 10 out of 10 do I do it yeah I do um okay now for eyebrows my least favorite part maybe one day it'll be my favorite part but um until that day comes it is not my favorite part I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hill brow freeze my friend Madeline Madeline if you're watching this thanks for giving this to me gal she didn't use it on her brow. Sorry, I just hiccuped. And she gave it to me. So I was like, yes, queen, thanks. So my eyebrows are like laminated. I did them myself. And so I really don't use too much of this. And I kind of just work it through my eyebrows. I do like that very big fluffy eyebrow look like okay I guess if I earlier I said blush would be the only thing I would just need blush and a spoolie because I can make it work with just a spoolie by pressing them up well if they're laminated anyways I don't know why I keep saying like if I only had one product okay um because it's not like I'm gonna have to choose just one product but okay so I'm gonna let those dry or just dry down if you will. And I'm gonna take this Revlon eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. All right, and now I'm going to take the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. So this is an Ilia video. But I'm gonna take this Ilia Mascara. Katie Fawn recommended it as she did everything else in this video, but I have come to like it. I mean, my favorite mascara in the whole wide world ever is the KKW Beauty one, but like they don't have it because they're like rebranding or something. I really don't know what they're doing, but it is the KKW Beauty one and it is the best. But for now, I'll just keep trying some until I find my favorite but I've been using this one for a little bit over a week now, so I like it. Sometimes I feel like when I'm outside, I will see that like, you'll get like a little like, what's it called? Like it's almost like, it like gets a little bit on like the top of your eyes or like by your eyebrow. And I'll have to like wipe it off with my fingertip. But that's only when I'm outside. I don't know if it's like the humidity because us Texas gals have to, you know, literally plan our life around how humid it's gonna be. 
And then I don't know if it's this brush or just the way I apply my mascara. I always get it on my eyelids. So I will show you how I take that off in a second. Oh, I'm not going to put this one on my bottom lashes. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic on my eyelashes because it is a much smaller wand. Or on my bottom eyelashes. Now, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade Wherever Walnut. This liner is so smooth and it's like the perfect pinky nude. And so I'll go between a few different glosses. I honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis we'll use this Laneige it is the lip glowy balm the berry one um my girl Katie she has her own cosmetic line Fawn Beauty and she um just restocked all of her products and I bought a moment which is what I'm going to be using today and if you want a gloss that's going to last you all day it is the hold please Buxom Lip Plumping Cream and the shade Bellini. Perfect pinky nude. I love it. Like, will I be wearing it on my wedding day? Yeah, probably. So I'm going to take the Fawn Beauty, um, the Moment one, and this is a lip serum, but it is so hydrating and so nice on your lips. And... To kind of go towards the end, I guess, of this little get ready with me, I'm going to take this NYX brow pencil in the shade Taupe. Yes. And kind of just fill in my brows. I don't really necessarily like, like a heavy filled in brow, but I do like to put back some color in them. So I'll just lightly move the brow pencil. And now I'm gonna set with some Morphe setting spray, the continuous setting mist. And I'm gonna let that dry. And you guys, that is it. That is my glowy, bronzy, glowy, bronzy, springy, summer everyday makeup look that I truly think is so easy and it is so like it photographs well like I'm about to go shoot content and this is obviously like the makeup look I'm wearing I love it if you follow me on Instagram I posted like this one picture I might be able to insert it here but I have posted this one picture and like my, my hair's in a little bun and I have my makeup done just like this using these exact same products. The only thing that's different is I use like a different lip gloss, which is the Buxom Bellini one. But I look at it every day because I love the makeup so much. Like I loved how it looked and this is what I did. So if you want to shop anything, feel free to look in the description below. I will have a link to everything, link to the Like to Know It app, link to my Amazon storefront, link to my Instagram, all the things. Um, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please DM me on Instagram. Do everything, you know, do all the things. Oh, before we're done, I told you that I would show you how I got my um, mascara off my eyelids. And with that, I just take like the a spoolie and everyone knows this, everyone and their mom does this all over TikTok and I just like flake it off with this. So, but anyways. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, follow me on Instagram, DM me, whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is it. This is the glowy, dewy makeup look and I'm obsessed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye.